Augustana with a completely dominating win, 52 to nothing over the University of Mary, and you saw it on Midco Sports Network. I'm David Brown along with Alex Heinert. Alex, uh, nothing could go wrong for Augustana today. The offense was clicking on all cylinders, and the defense shut Mary out. This was a comprehensive performance, really, from the start. It was just seven nothing after the first quarter, but once the Vikings got it rolling, there was no stopping Trey Hyde in this Viking offense. And again, like you said, the defense outstanding, shutting down Mary and keeping them off the scoreboard today. You mentioned Trey Hyde as we get into the first half highlights. Dejon Newell did some things on the ground, but Trey Hyde eventually would get the first score of the game with his long touchdown pass to Matt Gary. 61 yards on a beautiful play action. You can't do that any better. I mean, he was on point all day today. He finishes with great numbers, 14 and 19, 201, two touchdowns. Whether it was Gary, <laughs> whether it was Grant Gephardt, whether it was Matt Heller, again, all these receivers doing a great job, but the running game, huge all day. Matt Heller had another touchdown. C.J. Ham had a touchdown. Ham was one of four running backs in play for the Augustana Vikings. Now, Mary tried to move the ball a little bit. They got some stuff to L.B. Pope, and the quarterback, Ben Jolla, filling in for an injured Zach Roberson, tried making some plays, but he really couldn't get anything going. He did what he could. I mean, their offensive line gave them a little bit of time at, at moments, but they didn't have much of a ground game to contend with. His receivers we were covered pretty well all day. I give a lot more credit to the Yagi defense, maybe, than a bad game for Mary. Of course, Trey Hyde running all over the field, passing all over the field. 201 passing yards in the first half alone and a couple touchdowns as Augustana built a huge lead in the first half. And of course, they were up on top of you, Mary Big at halftime. Now into the second half, Mary tried something a little bit different to start the second half. They were kicking off and they started with an onside kick. Good strategy, but it didn't work. And when you're down like that 24 nothing, you try and get a spark going. It, it didn't come off and Augie scores a couple of plays later. And Dejan Newell ran all over the place on that ensuing drive. In fact, there were no passing yards on that drive at all. And there was another touchdown run for the Vikings as they go up 31 to nothing. And at that point, they just started to run away with things. Yeah, it was 45 nothing after three. They bring in Chase Marceau. He's, he's perfect on the day and the season again, slinging the football around the touchdown to Charlie Hayes. Again, it was no matter who was out there running the football or throwing, they were unstoppable. You, Mary, tried a little no huddle, but they eventually fumbled. Chase Marzo, as Alex said, came in at quarterback, had a couple of nice throws. He remains perfect on the season, and they had a couple of another nice long passes, some nice long touchdown runs as well for Augustan. Yeah, when you finish the score at 52 to nothing like that, their second big shutout, and they beat Crookston 54 to nothing earlier this season. This was more impressive, though. That's a decent You, Mary team from the North, and they were dominant today. You Mary again had some nice plays. They moved it a little bit into the Augie red zone, but then they fumbled on a fourth and goal. And Augustana basically just ran out from there. Jackie Davis, third string running back, he came in at some nice run. Yeah, it's a nice to have a guy as your third stringer that good. Again, kid from Omaha that really came in and stepped up, played well, and certainly finishing off that drive with a little five yard touchdown on the cap to score into that. Of course, 52 to nothing ends up being your final. Augustana all over the University of Mary. New Mary moves to two and two on the season while Augustana moves to three and one. And now the interdivisional play is done. Augie will play teams exclusively from the south. New Mary will take, play teams exclusively from the north. What do what does each team take out of this game? Well, I think if you're Augustana, you feel pretty good about things. Again, they go to Upper Iowa next week before hosting USF. Two big games on their schedule coming up, but they're going to be riding high going into those games. And if you're Mary, you go back to the drawing board a little bit. If a busy state game at home next week, they'll have to get healthy and get ready for that contest against the Beavers. One team looking to keep things going, another team hoping to rebound. For Alex Heinert, I am David Brown. Thank you for watching. Augustana tops you, Mary, 52 to nothing.